assalamu alaikum students i hope you all are fine students we are in unit 4 that is problem solving and we are studying flow charting examples in today's lesson we will study the last three flow charting examples given in your book the first one is flow chart to display the largest one out of the two given numbers we are given with two numbers and we, we have to find out the larger number out of these two numbers and we have to draw the flow chart for this purpose here in this flow chart we will be using the continuation symbol the first symbol is always the start symbol now here we will input two numbers so the input is represented by a parallelogram and with the statement input two numbers say a and b one number is represented by a and the second number is represented by letter b now here uh, on this page the space is finished and there is no enough space to draw the uh, flow chart any further so we have to put the continuation symbol at the end of this flow chart like the circle with a letter here we are using the letter x you can put any letter over here in this circle so it's a continuation symbol now here on the next page we will start with the same continuation symbol so you must notice that on the next page you will start with the same continuation symbol circle with x now we have to find out the larger number out of two given numbers so it requires a condition it's a conditional statement because we will compare those two numbers with each other and for comparison for making decision or for representing a conditional statement we use the diamond symbol which results either in true or false so we have to put the diamond symbol inside the diamond symbol we are writing um, a statement is a is greater than b and question mark we are actually uh, investigating that whether a is greater than b or not so in this statement uh, can um, can result either in true or false we have to write the output for uh, both cases uh, whether it is true or false in first place if this is true means that a is greater than b it means that the statement is true so in that case we will display a is greater it's a output statement that will be the output statement so it is must be represented by parallelogram so it will display a is greater if the statement is true if a is really greater than b and then it will go to the stop means we have got the output and now the uh, program is finished and the flow chart is finished the other case is if this statement is false means that a is not greater than b this statement is false so in that case it will display b is greater remember that in conditional statements we uh, can have the two possible outputs it depends upon the condition whether it is true or false in case of true there will be a different uh, result or output and in case of false there will be a different result or output <coughs> so if the statement is false it means that a is not greater than b which means that b is actually greater than a so it will display b is greater and then it will go to the stop symbol so this is how you can draw the conditional uh, uh, flow chart or the flow chart for the program where uh, there is some conditional statement <coughs> and uh, further you saw that how you can use the continuation symbol <coughs> so i think it's very simple okay in example 6 says that flowchart to find the area of a region uh, of a rectangular region with given length and width we have to find out the 
area of a rectangular region with given length and width first of all the start symbol now in input we have got the length and width so it is an input statement that is represented by parallelogram now we are finding the area of this uh, rectangular region by multiplying length and width so it is a processing operation which uh, actually performs a mathematical uh, operation that is multiplication so it is represented by a processing symbol called rectangle it's a processing symbol and inside this rectangle we are writing the formula for finding the area of a rectangle that is area is equal to length multiplied by width okay once we have found the area now we are going to display the area and uh, display is a uh, output operation so it is represented by parallelogram input and output both are represented by parallelogram we have got the output and now we have to put the stop symbol or terminal symbol the last example we have is to uh, find the area of a circular region with given radius radius is represented by capital r so it's also very simple we have to find the area of a circular region means area of a circle <coughs> put the start symbol then in input we are getting r r stands for radius of the circle now we know that the formula for finding the area of a circle is pi r square so inside the uh, rectangle because it's a processing uh, operation where we are performing multiplication uh, of pi and uh, r square so that is represented by rectangle symbol inside the rectangle we are writing the formula for finding the area of a circle <coughs> that is pi r square and then display area of the circle which is an output operation and it is represented by parallelogram and at the end we have to put the terminal symbol or stop symbol so i think these flow charts are very simple you must practice all of the uh, flow charts and <coughs> you you must try to uh, find out some other um, uh, mathematical uh, operations by using the flow charts like you can find out the circumference of uh, uh, a circle by using a uh, flow chart so you have to draw the flow chart for that purpose and some other operations can also be uh, performed by drawing flow charts <coughs> students that's it for today ask your questions in the comments don't forget to subscribe my channel computer tuition academy thanks a lot take care allah hafiz